healthcare can be important in a cost frame. But in terms of uh, healthcare became a huge issue in really in 2017, 2018, 2019, where voters didn't think it was reality that uh, that pre-existing conditions could be back on the table, right? That you could have your healthcare taken away if you got a pre-existing condition. And then it became reality because we went through this whole healthcare law and they were angry and they expressed that anger in 2018 and to some extent in 2020. Um, but I think it's it's uh, it's always important to people, but I don't think they feel like it's there's a big fight about it right now. There's anything coming down the pike. And so they're just kind of in the place where they are, which is pretty happy with their own insurance, not that happy with the American healthcare system in general, and uh, kind of just resigned to that being their reality for now. Yeah, if, if anything, I think healthcare was being, for at least the last couple of years, is being um, viewed through the prism of COVID-19 and how hospitals and insurance, how everybody's delivering with respect to, uh, to COVID-19. And now with other issues, really supplanting the healthcare issue, it's not front burner. If anything, it is, it's, well, for, I mean, I, echoing what Brian said, yeah, people are happy with their, with their healthcare. What they may not be happy with is the cost of their healthcare. And they don't know who really to point the finger at. It is not just, I mean, Democrats want to talk about prescription drugs, but it's health insurance companies. It's the middleman. It's, it's all kinds. It Every step along the way is, is, is kind of driving up the cost of healthcare. And there's, there's a sense among voters that they're being nickel and dime to death by, by the healthcare system and that health insurance isn't working like insurance is supposed to work. 